What's up guys? So Merry Christmas. There is a full moon out right now. It's like 930 at night and I took a few pictures and they came out really good. But it just kind of brings me back to when I first got a DSLR where I just thought, you know, in normal light I could take really good pictures. But then once you get to, you know, the next step, like you go outside, you point your camera at the moon, and then it comes out crappy. So I'm going to give you just a quick tip on how to take a picture of the moon. Now these, you know, settings aren't going to be perfect. You're going to want to play around with them. But this video is basically assuming that you don't know much about the manual settings on a camera. So once I show you, this should really be able to help you out. Okay. So if you have your camera on auto mode, you want to get it off of that because <laughs> that will do no good when taking a picture of the moon. Um, so we have it on manual and the things that you'd want to focus on changing would be like the shutter speed. So if it's on auto, it may be defaulted to like 1 60th of a second, but honestly, that's too slow. It's going to let in too much light. The moon's going to be too bright, so we're going to turn it up to like one five hundredth of a second, and that will make the moon dimmer. And then the f-stop, that's not really too important. I mean, you can play around with it, but that's not going to have as big of a effect on the picture. If you have a zoom lens, it's probably not going to have much of a range anyway, unless you've spent a lot of money on the lens. And then another thing you want to worry about is the ISO. If you have it on auto, the camera is most likely going to crank the ISO up really high, which will result in a lot of grain. So you want to bring it down to, you know, like maybe two to 400. Just play around in that area. If you do it too low to like 100, the picture may be too dim. But you can kind of, you know, fool around with ISO and then the shutter speed to kind of get the best picture and that's really it there just knowing those few settings I will you know put that in the description below as well but as long as you stay off auto you will be able to take a decent picture of the moon so now that we know about the correct settings to take a picture of the moon in let me just show you a before and after so here's the moon in full auto very grainy too bright due to too quick of a shutter speed but if we slow that shutter speed down and crank the ISO down, we get this perfect picture of the moon. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos all the time. See you guys later. Bye.